Hey everybody, just an update on my progress with Awakening the Bear, 3rd edition, Conflict of Heroes Goodness. And uh, remember my last episode I was talking about converting over to 3rd edition, which I didn't realize was available uh, as a PDF for Awakening the Bear, which is the set I have. And I played through the first mission. I uh, didn't really video any of that stuff, uh, just the beginning turns. And that was about it. But I did play through the mission just to get used to the system. Uh, like I said, I've played this game, Awakening the Bear, numerous times back in the day. And it was always a joy to do so. And this was my first go with 3rd edition. I have to say, I'm quite impressed. Very fast moving. Uh, obviously, because the AP, uh, keeping track of APs is no longer a thing. Instead, you got this little special die which you roll to see if a unit becomes spent, as opposed to keeping track of APs. Once a certain number is reached, seven usually, that unit becomes spent. So, quite interesting, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. And I'm strongly considering picking up Storms of Steel, which I've actually been waiting on for years, like many fans of the system. Uh, it's finally being released, I think as early as today. At least that's my uh, my source for their games, uh, tells me. So I might do that. We shall see. I've got a lot of things I want to pick up, um, including some Lock and Load. Uh, the East Front game of Lock and Load I'm considering. And what else? It was something else. I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, I've got a lot of things on my radar at the moment. But back to this what I'm doing now, and, and basically I was having a practice session uh, so that I can get ready to play the solo expansion for Conflict of Heroes, something I've never played. I've had that too for quite a while, but I've never actually used it. And I've been reading the rules here and there. It's pretty straightforward. Every time the when it's the AI's turn to do something, you just pull one of these order cards and you go down... Uh, this these options from top to bottom whichever one applies you apply you apply and that's what the unit does this is uh close combat if you if the ai is engaged in close combat this order would take precedence over everything else and and so on and so forth you just go down these until you find something that has to occur uh, and you resolve it and that's it quite interesting uh, it's a little different for me when I play my solo games, I usually like to play both sides. I'm not very fond of AI systems, per se, uh, nor the complexity that comes with them. I actually find more enjoyment from, literally, playing both sides. And, yeah, so this is a little different for me. And I know a lot of people say good things about it. And, yeah, so we shall see how I get along with this. Uh, the solo rules uh, look quite dense. I mean, it's not a lot of rules, but it just there's a lot to look up. A lot of, okay, um, how do you handle attack? What things apply when you decide which unit makes an attack? And if it can't, there's a lot of, you know, end ifs and buts to go through. Uh, but the basic rule mechanic is just every time it's the AI's turn, you flip over one of these cards. And the first thing you resolve would be this thing on the top here, was, which is like, a, I forget what this is called, a mission something. And in this case, reshuffle the deck after the action. So once the action is decided and completed, you've got to reshuffle the entire deck, discards and all. Uh, this actually controls the flow of the game, really. And once the AI is done, you resolve this action, it goes back to you. And you uh, can sp spend your caps and so on and so forth and take your... Uh, turned what you normally do in the game so it's actually pretty simple in that respect but you know what we will see and i do want to video this for you guys a full game we shall see how i get along i'm going to try it out a little bit set up the scenario uh mission one as you can see here uh for the solo expansion this is pretty much what it is it's a search and destroy and there's all kinds of things on here to keep track of including the mission track, all important, 
and counter actions, mission orders, victory points, the units that are involved, and so on and so forth. So I do want to uh, see how I get along with this, maybe set it up and try it a little bit on my own before I actually video it, at least a few turns, make sure I understand how it goes. And this is the track for the solo game, you see, you just keep track of one side's caps and victory points for both sides and the turn is up here and yeah so we'll see how i get along with this folks just wanted to update you my progress on this game what's going on with my uh, uh way of thinking regarding my games at the moment and we'll see all right folks i will be back shortly and give you the results of my well another practice game i guess and then we're going to set it up and I'll start making a series of videos for you guys. Probably won't be much. This game is so fast moving, you know. It really plays quickly. And I believe... Uh, how many turns are in this? For this scenario. I know the mission track. Mission ends at 12 in this case. When you reach this point here, it does actually end. So it could actually be a 12 turn. I don't know about that. Let's see where it tells you how long. Well, I'll have to read this. Um, replaying the mission as the Germans. Yeah, I do actually play the Russians in this first go. I might actually try it with the Germans right off the bat anyway. We'll see. All right, folks. I'll be back shortly and give you guys an idea of what's going on. And basically this scenario. I'll go into the details of it. The setup and my strategy for both sides. Get the glare out of there. And hopefully by the end of this fight, I'll have a good idea how well this solo expansion works and whether or not I like it. Like I said, I prefer my solo games to be where I play both sides, unhindered by complex rules. But we'll see. You know, this actually looks like a very fun way to play the game uh, with a, what seems like a very detailed AI system. But we'll see. All right, folks, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Like, share, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And remember, hang in there. It's only going to get better. Take care, folks.